Okay, so it's time now to focus on the globally important issue of sustainability. Now, it's fair to say that Cybos is committed to reducing its environmental impact and in the long term aims to be one of the most sustainable global events. Leading by example, it wants to drive some much needed change across the industry. And Cybos 2022 includes a broad range of initiatives designed to support its commitment to sustainability. Lots to talk about. And I'm delighted to say that I'm not going to be doing that alone because I'm joined in the studio by Melissa Sternberg. To put this in context, Melissa is the global head of ESG at SWIFT. It's good to see you. Hello, how are you? I'm very, very well. It's so nice to actually be talking to people face to face rather than via a Zoom lens. I know, it's <laughs> so amazing. I'm so happy to be here at Cybos this year, back uh, since 2019. So happy to be here and thank you for having me today. Well, look, we're glad to see you. And what we want you to tell us about is Cybos's sustainability strategy, because there is a lot that is going on here. Take us through it. Yeah, so as you mentioned, we've been focused on sustainability, but if we zoom into our strategy, we're really laser focused on protecting our environment, caring for our community, and promoting diversity, equity, and inclusion through everything that we do. So it's a big range there of, of subjects which you're covering, but well done, you've embraced them, you're running with them. But look, are there examples that you can give us of some of the changes that are happening at Cybos this year? What, what, what is it that we can mm -hmm. see for ourselves if we actually move around the floor? Sure, I think it's important to mention too, and just remind people when we use the word sustainability, it is a broad topic and it includes things like environment, your community, as well as the people that are here uh, in a diverse manner. In 2019, I'm gonna zoom in on the environment. Uh, we measured for the first time our emissions, really to get an understanding of the impact areas so that we could further reduce, even though we hadn't been making commitments over the years. What was interesting is we found uh, a huge impact. Uh, so a big change that we made this year was to our carpet. And people sometimes don't think about the, the, the floor that they're walking around on and how impactful it can be. So we made the decision to source it from 100% recycled material using no water or latex. And it has an 85% reduction in energy production and it has an impact of 55% reduced emissions. So it's a pretty significant impact. And I think that's something when I talk with individuals who are trying to make a difference, it's really, we, there's a lot to do in the space of sustainability, especially within the environment. But if you can measure, understand the impacts your decisions are making, and then narrow into those specific areas that are having a significant impact, that's really where the change starts, starts coming. And I like that example that you used of the carpet because it's something which we all take for granted, but what you've actually done is broaden the chain here that, okay, you want to have some floor covering, but you need to look at where you're getting it because it's almost like viewing a supply chain really, isn't it? Absolutely, the supply chain, especially in our industry, is one of the biggest areas that we really have to look at. Um, SWIFT, for example, has signed the science-based targets. 80% of our emissions is coming from our supply chain. So it's critical that we make sure that we understand what that looks like and how we can redu reduce. Mm. And I guess as well, it's geography too, because you'll have people who are flying in from different corners of the world, but you've got people who'll be traveling in from Europe. So in many respects, that's quite a local journey really, isn't it? it if you compare it to traveling, traveling in from New Zealand or Australia or the United States. Absolutely. And I think one of the things I talk about with folks, um, because the question comes up of, you know, being in person and the emissions that that creates. If we do it in a smart way and we reduce where we can, I think it's fine to do it in a moment in time. It's very important to continue meeting in person. Um, but yeah, so we, I encourage people to take more trains, uh, public transportation as much as possible. Uh, and a lot of times what they don't realize is it's the same amount of time and it's much lower cost as well. So there's multiple benefits. So it's, it's fascinating how you've approached the sustainability issue. And what I want to, to, to delve into in a little bit more detail is how that impacted on choosing the Rice Centre in Amsterdam. Because as I understand it, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is quite a unique venue because it has the Platinum Certified Earth Check label, which is actually a very good label to have. It is, it's amazing. Even when you walk around the venue, you can, you can feel it, you can see it as you look around, going into the restrooms, walking around the facilities. It is just seamless in how they've put this event space together. And what it does is it allows you to focus on the content at the event um, and not get distracted by the, all, all of the extra materials that are really unnecessary. Mm. I mean, look, we've, we've heard a great deal about sustainability being talked about, not just here, but beyond the boundaries of Cybos. But how do you think that what we're doing now can influence the next generation of leaders in our industry so that they can 
walk away from Cyprus 22 and think, well, OK, then, we've seen what, the, what, what, what is happening and how can we incorporate that into what we do when we get back home? Yeah, I think as I experience change, it's going to take change agents to see evolutions and behavior changes, really, because a lot of times you'll get stuck in a habit and you don't even think about something. But a lot of times there's innovative ways to do things that are a lot smarter and a lot better for an environment. And um, what I think it's going to take for our next generation of leaders is starting to experience this and then coming with solutions that allow us to drive more change because it's great that we have these small changes and with each step forward, it makes a difference, but we need even more impactful changes for the future generations. Mm. But clearly some big things are happening with the ESG issue and how SWIFT is actually tackling it. So how would you describe SWIFT's corporate approach to, to climate action overall? I mean, what, what is that approach? Can you take us through that journey? What are you doing? So, uh, absolutely. So in 2007, we began measuring our admissions and reducing, and we were proud to reduce to date by 71%. We've also committed and signed up for the science-based targets, submitting our targets very much earlier than the requirements in this past July, and we'll get those validated and published in early 2023. We're really focused on three core areas, which includes scopes one, two, and three across our facilities, our company-owned cars, how we purchase electricity, and our full supply chain um, and employee commuting as well as travel. So we're really looking at the full gamut. And as mentioned before, we realized that being a technology company, 80% of our emissions is embedded into our supply chain. So there's a very significant focus on our supply chain, trying to influence the industry and the people we're working with to come along the journey with us because really it is the best thing to do uh, for future generations. Mm. And so th really this is root and branch analysis and it's not just for now, this will continue Correct. for the next Cybos and the ones beyond that. But how can those attending Cybos 2022 actually play their part in it? Because you're right, it is a journey and it's important that you don't lose people in that progression. Yeah, I mean, this space can get very complicated very quickly. So I think the individuals who are attending Cybos, I encourage them to use the water bottles that we've supplied or bring your own water bottles as simple as just not using paper cups. It's a small change, but it's also a behavior change. And it gets you thinking about what else we can do taking pub public transportation as much as possible, the trains and the metro. I know that we're supplying some, some passes to our delegates across the conference to engage in that behavior and experience it. And a lot of times it ends up being a lot better of an experience at the end of the day. That's the great thing about sustainability is once you go into it, you're like, oh, wow, this was a lot better, actually. I, I enjoyed it. Okay, Melissa, we're going to have to leave it there, but thank you so much for joining us. You're very welcome. Enjoy Cybos thank 2022. You. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. And look, we're looking forward to talking to you, hopefully next year as well, because there'll be an interesting story to tell. The data that you collate from Amsterdam, translating that and putting it into Toronto. So I, I think that's where it's being held next I year, isn't it? I believe so. I'm very excited. So looking forward to seeing you in Toronto. Fantastic. You take care and thank enjoy. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.